Hey everyone, and welcome back to the page. In honor of Financial Awareness Day, I have a few tips and tidbits for those of you who are buying a car for the first time and for those of you who are a bit more seasoned. Your first question might be, how much can I spend on a car each month? First thing you're gonna do is calculate your take home pay. Your car payment should be no more than 20% of that. So if you take home $3,000 a month, you should spend no more than $600 on a car. And that includes all necessary expenses with that car, including gas, insurance, and maintenance. It also wouldn't be a bad idea to create a monthly budget anyway. Figure out your take home pay and then subtract any recurring monthly expenses such as rent or mortgage, utilities, etc. And then you can figure out how much of that is going to be set aside for a car payment. And it shouldn't be everything because you should save some of that money too. Now, there are some key words that you're going to hear when you're in to buy your next vehicle. Some you may have heard of, some you may know, some you may be unfamiliar with. But I'd like to just go over them just to be on the safe side so you know exactly what they mean. One term is pretty familiar to many people, and that's interest rate, which is essentially the money that you're charged to borrow the money to buy a vehicle or anything else. The next term is down payment, and this is a certain amount of money that you'll put down when you're financing a vehicle. It's not required, but it definitely is encouraged, especially if you want to keep your monthly payments in a certain range. And lastly is term, and this is the amount of time you have to repay the loan. Now this will vary based on many factors, including the kind of car you're purchasing based on age and mileage, but also factors like credit and debt to income ratio. Loan terms can typically vary from anywhere from 24 months up to 84 months plus. However, it's not recommended that you go past 60 months because that typically means that you're buying a car that isn't quite affordable for you. And while we don't discourage cash purchases or outside financing, especially if you have a lending institution you work closely with, there's a good chance that we also work with them and get preferred rates, meaning we can actually meet or beat their advertised rates, which will save you even more money. And despite claims to the contrary, we want to sell you a vehicle, and we will do nearly everything in our power to ensure a fair deal on the one that you want. And if you guys have any additional questions, don't hesitate to ask your salesperson when you're in to buy your next vehicle. They want to make sure that you understand everything and that you can leave with a big smile on your face as you drive away in your new car. And for more tips and tricks, don't forget to like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.